But then on top of that, we have these other opportunities as well. We have, in an Asian country, a first division club. Or not even a club, a first division across a whole country, which I may be looking to go to in January. Yo, 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 what's going on, Team Twitty? I hope you're all super well. Uh, today I want to clear up uh, just one thing, really. I was supposed to leave for my trials for Asia yesterday. That was kind of the date that was arranged. That was the date I was going to go over and start trialing with uh, a few teams. So I really want to clear that up because I know a lot of people will disagree with me. I know a lot of people will agree with me. But hey, that's the beauty of life and YouTube. You make one decision, you stick with it. You don't look back and you just keep going. I believe I made the right decision for now. Maybe you guys will agree with me, maybe not. But in my circumstances, I believe I have. So I want to take you through that, explain everything. But first, this video is sponsored by Blinkist. Man, oh man, you guys know I love a good podcast, but I think I'm onto something new here. There's this new app called Blinkist and it is game changing. The biggest thing right now I'm finding, I don't drive more than 15 minutes to get to a training session and that's the perfect time for Blinkist. So Blinkist is the only app that takes the best information from thousands of non-fiction books and puts them into 15 minute reads or for me, which I love, 15 minute audio listens. So whether you're on the go or you just want to chill out and read, th man, incredible. So right before I get in the car to go to a training session, I'll pull up the app and kind of have a look at what I want to learn. So we got things like psychology, motivation, inspiration, mindful and happiness. I was actually just listening to this one called Elevate. And these categories make it so easy. So we'll click on this motivation and inspiration. You can kind of go through like maybe a walk in the woods could be good. It then gives you some information, what it's about who's it for and about the author. Then you can just simply click read or listen. Now the first 100 people who go to the link in the description, you will pick up a one week trial completely free and you can cancel at any time. And you'll also get 25% off the full membership. So make sure you guys go down below, check out Blinkist. Let's get on with the video. Right, so Asia. Now I've been speaking with this new agency. I quite like them. And this is the difficult thing for me right now. I have a lot of different opportunities on the table with there are opportunities where I have to physically go to the place. I have to go and trial for a team and you know, I don't think any of them I'm actually going to sign a contract without trialing. Now this agency was going to send me to Thailand and they were going to send me to the fourth division. That was just one option, they said there were more. But to kind of give you my context, I, I didn't want to be in the fourth division over there. I did a little bit of research, I spoke to a number of people and uh, from what I found, it's the lowest semi-pro level in Thailand. I just wasn't super interested in it for me. I would be almost better off playing in Australia, but even then it is difficult because I always say you're not really going to progress in terms of going up levels in Australia. It is very difficult. Now, one thing I am a big believer in is if I go to a lower level, I'm confident that I will perform and move up the leagues. And we saw that last year when I went down to MPL3 in Parramatta, we took a step backwards and we took two steps forwards to go over and secure trials in America. That was off the back of those great performances, scoring, I think, what, what was my end thing? Like 10 goals or 11 goals in 13 games with a few assists in there as well. So a brilliant record. But for me, going to this fourth division, and yes, this fourth division wasn't set in stone. There were going to be other opportunities, but I believe that was was kind of one of the main ones we were going for. I just felt like it would almost be a little bit of a waste of a year or even just a waste of a half a season even if I stayed that long because going down that low like it will be difficult to learn and become a better player which I'm always so interested in but then on top of that we have these other opportunities as well. We have in an Asian country a first division club or not even a club, a first division across a whole country, which I may be looking to go to in January. We have some other clubs in Asia, which I'm not quite sure what division, but when I look at that, I go, okay, I have all of these other opportunities, or I could, you know, go over here and 
I would say most likely get a team in a fourth division club. That does make things very difficult for me because I would have gone over yesterday, possibly secured a contract over this next week. And then all these other opportunities over here with the first division league in another country, they're gone because I've signed a contract with another club. So it is about decisions and I believe it's best to just wait until January or we'll see what happens over the next couple of weeks. Maybe we go a little bit earlier. But it is a very difficult situation because like I said, I'm a big believer. I'm not big heading myself and going, oh, I shouldn't be in that fourth division. No way. I'm a big believer that if you want to progress, you need to play those lower levels, prove yourself and go up. I just felt like Division 4 was just a little bit too low for me. And maybe you guys agree with that, maybe you don't. Maybe you think I should have gone there and just stuck it out, got a year in. But I am getting a little bit older. I'm only 22, so I'm not that old, but I don't want to just let a year slip by. A year slips by, you're now 23. So, look, we'll see what happens. That's kind of the update on the situation. Trust me, I believe I've made the right decision. It's just, at this moment right now, I feel as if there are better opportunities than a Division 4 club. I feel as if I can get some trials and yes we might get to January we have a few trials don't get selected and then we all sit here and go oh Sheldon you should have signed for that fourth division team you should have gone for those trials man that's just how life works in hindsight if we got there and that's what happened then yeah we'd probably be sitting there going oh you should have done this but you know right now today I'm making that decision and I'm gonna stick with that decision and the thing with life is you have to make a decision and never look back on it never regret it because at this moment you knew it was what was right for you so that's the situation we'll see what happens over the next week two weeks I may still go over with this agency it kind of depends on what sort of uh, teams we can get it. But I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. I uh, just kind of stick around. I keep working hard. It means that I do have a little bit longer to prepare myself for trials, which is great. We weren't in the best shape for the trials anyway, so it's probably a very good thing. We had that yeah, off-season we won't talk about, but yeah, really pushing hard now, getting double sessions with Jonah in every single week, working hard, fitness, everything. I'm stoked, man. Speaking of fitness, uh, that's coming up. So I'll leave you guys with the rest of the day. Right, I'm glad I was able to explain the Asia opportunity to you guys. I'm now heading off. I have to do a little bit of work with Sam. We need to send off some more orders. Then we're going to the gym together. He's going to take me to his gym. We're going to do the John Terry cardio workout and I'm going to do my weights program. And I think he's doing Matt's, the footballer's physique program. And I'm testing out, oh damn, the light blue socks. Far out, these actually look so sick. And my get up is so bad. Yo, Karen, respect my drip. Cause damn, we are so color coordinated out here. We got orange on top, we got dark blue, and then we got light blue. <laughs> Karen, please respect my drip. All right, I need to head off. I'll catch you guys at Sam's and then I'll catch you at the gym. It's been super hectic. We got two full boxes of orders there with another bag there. Then we open up the boot, man. Another full two boxes of orders that we're shipping off. And then there's still, I don't know how many, maybe like 150 that need to be sent off. But this is as many as we can get done today. We just powered it. We pushed hard, eh? Yeah. Now we gotta go to the post office. We gotta run because these people at the post office are pretty slow. You go here often. Yeah. They're not the quickest. But uh, yeah, we need to kind of smash this out real quick. <laughs> Finished up the orders. Well, most of them. You still got a few to go, mate. Yeah, a few. Uh, we were working damn hard. Now we're off to the gym. Still rocking. <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> what was it, buddy? Nothing. Yeah, I thought so. You're uh, <laughs> uh dude. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, man. Uh, we're going to the gym, John Terry cardio workout, and then I'm doing my own program. And we might it. actually mix in a little bit because I know you're doing bench press, right? Well, I'm doing Matt Sheldon's uh, uh, footballer's physique. Yeah, get it. I already plugged it. Linked in the description, please. I don't know if I could do that, but <laughs> <laughs> how are you liking that program? I really like it, and I just knowing that's from Matt, I can trust it. How long have you been on it for? Three, four weeks. I'd yeah, say. right. So. What do you think of the progression with it? Because I haven't actually looked at that program, but what are your thoughts for everyone well, right out there who I'm, hasn't tried it? Right now I'm doing the hypertrophy, oh, hypertrophy, <laughs> whatever you say. I'm doing that one. Yep. Off yep. season and that, so yeah. Decent, decent. All right, let's do it. John Terry. Oh, dude, that went on me. Oh, no. <laughs> so how do you feel about it, man? Uh, we just missed reception now, so we're going to my gym. It's all because you <laughs> faffed around eating my food. Yeah, I think I got free food off Sam's family. I'm so grateful. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're not going to that gym, we're going to my gym now. Any words? Just disappointed in you.
I'm sorry. Might be a little bit too soon after dinner. You can feel the spaghetti. Yep. I'm feeling all right, but no excuses here. I'm aiming for eight. Eight, I believe. I'm aiming for ten. Ten? Really? Yeah. All right, well, we're going to be pushing each other. We're going to push each other down hard. So we'll see what we get to, but hey, you best bet. I'm going to be pushing him. And Sam's your best bet. You push me. Right, we're here to work hard. We're not here to just go easy. There's no point. Why come? So let's do it, man. Damn, managed to get up to nine sets on this John Terry cardio workout. That was two more than my last one. And then before that, I only got up to five. Before that, it went six, six. So, man, I jumped it up two. Usually, you can, I'm just looking at the thing here now. It goes four, five, five, six, six, and then went back to five, then to seven and now it's up to nine. It just goes to show I'm putting in that work, man, and really progressing with this, which is so awesome to see. I don't know if you guys saw in the first, very first set, Sam nearly fell off his treadmill. Uh, but I think Sam got up to about six. I think it was six he did at 18 kilometers an hour. Then he put it down a little bit slower for his last three sets. Uh, just to kind of get the reps in, which was important. And we were pushing each other. I want to try and do this more often because when you have someone there with you pushing and you're both urging each other to do more than you would without them, then, man, it, well, there's so much benefit in that. If you just have someone there pushing, it's like having a personal trainer yelling at you. Why wouldn't you? So, yeah, I'm going to look to do this a little bit more, but I'm so damn happy. You guys will see. I'm stoked that I got up to nine, and then we move into the weights. I want to start upping this a little bit more in terms of the volume. I want to really smash out squat, deadlift, bench press every single time along with the core workout, seeing as I don't have to leave for trials immediately. So with the deadlift, I got myself up to 77.5 and then the bench press 65 kilos. And I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling really strong because I'm sticking to this program. It's solid, man, solid. Man, this light is so bright. I'm so proud of both Sam and myself. We had a real tough afternoon, I think three and a half straight hours, maybe four hours straight of packing orders. And then we went to the gym and we got such a good session in. Mentally, we weren't really there. But for me, personally, on a, if I talk about myself, to get nine sets, man, I'm so happy. I, you know, I prepared well because I had dinner at Sam's house. I had spaghetti bolognese and I gave that j maybe not just enough time to digest, but I had food in my system to be energized and I wasn't the best mentally and I still smashed out nine sets, two more than last time. Last time I got seven sets. I'm so happy, man. Yes. It just goes to show the progression and when you put in that work and I could have so easily gone on the seventh set. Ugh, yeah, I'm not mentally there, but I went, no way, man. I am pushing today. I'm pushing hard. I'm not coming here just to do nothing. So, oh yes, after a tough day mentally, smashed it out. Oh, I'm so stoked, so stoked. Now, I organized Jonah. So I got a session with him tomorrow morning. And I believe there's a fair few MPO one players who train on a Friday morning. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to film it, but regardless, I'm gonna have such a top session tomorrow morning. I gotta be there at 7.30. Well, 7.30 the session starts, so I'll get there 7.15. Right now, it is 9.50, 9.50 on the dot. I need to kind of get myself together, have a shower. I haven't even I've uploaded today's video just because I've been working hard and I only wanted to go to the gym today. That was the plan. If you guys watched yesterday's video, the plan was to only go to the gym and I wanted to do it towards the end of the day because I wanted to give my body enough time to recover after yesterday's session. I can't even remember what it was. Oh yeah, the Jonah session. So I wanted to give my body more than 24 hours. Man, I had like maybe 34 hours or so to recover, 36 hours. That's perfect. Now we can kind of just keep going again. Maybe a double session, we'll see, but so stoked, man. <laughs> Off to bed. I'm so happy, man. So happy with today. We smashed out a whole heap of steps work and it was great because it lined up with how my sort of schedule is going. And then I didn't miss any trainings, nothing like that. I still had football as the priority. Yeah, it took a little bit of a toll on me, but I think that was good. It was a good mental test to really push my mental side of things. Sometimes in football, you're just not up for it and you got to push through that. I believe I did today, so... Felt good and I'm feeling stronger in the gym as well. That's awesome. So as usual, I kind of plan what my day is tomorrow. We got a Jonah session in the morning. 
I'm planning on a fitness session at night, but hey, things could change. I This is real, the smoke here is getting really bad. There was something online today that said, if you go outside, it's, you know, and you continuously breathe the air in, it's the equivalent of smoking cigarettes. And again, I wish all the people in that area to be safe. And my problem is only minor, but yeah, it's it's really bad, man. So I think the worst of it is coming tomorrow afternoon. And if it is bad tomorrow, then what I might look into doing is just doing a wall session in here because, you know, I don't want to put my health at risk. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm kind of just planning things out tomorrow and then we go as the day goes. Like 100% Jonah in the morning and then we'll see what happens later on. But that's me done. Time for sleep and then we... Uh, it's 11 o'clock right now, so I go to sleep, wake up at 5.45, have my breakfast, and uh, back into the training, man. Gotta love it. If you don't love it, there's no way you can do this. There is no way. So <laughs> I'm gonna end the vlog there. Thanks, buddy. I'm Sun Out. Make sure you like and subscribe, and enjoy joining us. See you around the street. Bye.